This is a FT230X board connected to the F... Or the, uh, so what is this thing? Uh, F1612, that's what it is, um, on the launch pad. And I'm using bitbang mode of the FTDI chip to get into the bootstrap loader on the MSP430. And I've used that to read the firmware out of it and to uh, program some new firmware into it. Do that right now. Programming the code into it, and now it's running. And uh, I'm using bitbang mode because the uh, the 230X chip doesn't have all the handshake lines, so you can't use DTR to get into the bootstrap loader. Um, but you can change uh, was it CTS, I think, from an input to an output, and use that instead. And it appears they actually they finally fixed bitbang mode in the X series. It was it was horribly broken in the uh, previous R series and B series and it was pretty much useless because it was it was broken. And uh, they never published a rat on that as far as I know, which is very, very bad. Um, they acknowledged it when I asked them about it that yeah, it was broken. But uh, they were not at all helpful about that. Uh, if there was any alternative to FTDI I would use it just due to the the way they handle that errata. But uh, they, they really overall have, they, they have the best chip for what it does. Um, so, well, this makes it possible to reprogram it, but of course, uh, it's, uh, there's only a few pins that are broken out and usable. I've got two of them hooked up to the LEDs. So the next step is going to be to, uh, you know, remove the chip off the launch pad and, uh, you know, put it on a breakout board like that. And, uh, then, uh, all the pins will be accessible and, uh, be possible to, uh, do a lot more with it.